Let's get started. This question comes to us from T, and T writes this, Dear We, I've been having a lot of conversations with my girlfriend about Christianity, and I was wondering how I can explain the Trinity to her without completely confusing her. Thanks, T. T, uh, real simply, let me just share with you a really cool drawing that I use for the confirmation students. Now, this drawing is not something that I made up. Uh, it's actually quite old. It's called the um, Shield of the Trinity. And what you want to do is just get a basic sheet of paper like this. And what you want to do, and I'm going to try to do this here as I talk at the same time uh, to you, you want to write three words. You want to write Father and you want to write Son, and you want to write Holy Spirit. I'm just going to abbreviate for the sake of simplicity. Draw them in kind of a triangle like this, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And then, in the very center, you want to write God, right in the very, very center, like this. Now, here's what you want to do, is you want to connect all these uh, by simply drawing a line to all three of them. And I will show you here in a second what that looks like. Something like this connect all three of them. And now what we're going to do is just simply use these words, is and is not. So we want to say that the Father is God, as scriptures teach, and we want to say the Son is God, as the scriptures teach, and we want to say the Holy Spirit is God, as the scriptures speak. Now, what we also want to say, so before I show you that, see, you can say here, Father is God, Holy Spirit is God, and the Son is God. Now, what we want to do is we also want to distinguish between the persons. So we want to say the Father is what? Is not the Son, and the Son is not the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is not the Father. So we want to simply run the outside. You can see there the Father is not the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is not the Son, and the Son is not the Father. So yet, right here, what you have is basically a drawing, a very simple drawing you can do on a basically on a napkin in about 30 seconds to explain the complexity of the Trinity. Now, after going through this with her, I would then encourage you to go to the Apostles' Creed and the Nicene Creed as well. And that does a, you know, basically explains everything that we see here, but especially the Nicene Creed really unpacks this uh, quite uh, sufficiently and quite well. I hope that helps and we'll catch you next time.